I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shit. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, last monkish beer to review. That makes me really fucking sad. <laughs> but I think we saved, hopefully, the best for last. Uh, this is Foggier Window. Shout out to the loonies, by the way. If you've never heard of I Got Five on it, we can't be friends. 8.1% uh, alcohol by volume, double IPA. This is basically their beer that they brewed Foggy Window, double dry hopped again. Citra, Nelson, and Galaxy. So, uh, might as well just drop the mic right now, right? Um, honestly though, this beer is super, super hyped. Ever since I've been reviewing Monkish beers, people have been talking about Foggy Window and how awesome that beer was. So, um, I mean, this was pre me being able to get Monkish. I never got to have that beer. Um, and then this beer dropped and everyone kind of lost their mind. So, um, again, huge shout out to my man Eddie for sending this one. Um, this was canned on October 20, or, yeah, October 21st and it says Fresh Coast. So there you go. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this one. I am super stoked. Everyone says this is the best Monkish beer that they make. So I've had amazing Monkish beers. Um, I will say though that I guess my expectations are really high for this one. Um, so we'll see what she's got. Not much else to say about this one, I guess. We'll just get right into it. And it looks like grapefruit juice. And I can smell it from here. <laughs> These beers, man. Crazy. The noses on them. Them noses do. Uh, yeah, it's that like light grapefruit juice color. Finger of bright white head. Super fluffy. 8.1%. When we swirl her around in the glass, there's alcohol legs. It's like milky alcohol legs. It's crazy. There's glass lacing on the back of that. It looks absolutely killer in the glass. <clears throat> this is, it's just exploding out of the glass. Double dry hop beers. I mean, I talk about it from Trillium. They're so aggressively hopped. They're, when they're done right, they're amazing. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. See what she's got. Man, that's, there is a lot going on. Explosively juicy, but it's so soft. This isn't like burning your nostrils hoppy like you get sometimes with the double dry hop trillion beers. It's like grapefruit juice mixed with peach juice. And it's got, like, it's pineapple. It's, there might even be like a passion fruit kind of thing. But it's got that green herbaceous note underneath all that juice that I think comes from either the Citra or the Galaxy. Um, I will say it's not very vinous. It's not very grape forward um, with the Nelson in there. We might get that more on the taste, who knows. I kind of hope it's, I, I really just want this to be Citra Galaxy, just bomb diggity juicy. I'm kind of hoping, like when I did Dialed In with the Pinot Gris juice, it was so overpowering grape, it ruined the galaxy in that beer. I'm hoping this doesn't, that's not, I'm hoping that's not the case with this beer. Fuck, this beer smells like Madison Bumgarner throwing in the World Series. <laughs> I love you Dodger fans. Every, every review I've done so far, everyone talks about the hat that I wear. It, you don't have to be upset. I mean, 1988 was a long time ago. I can get you a hat like this, a champion hat, someone that's won something. <laughs> I do. I love you guys. I am not bitter. The Giants win. They've won three out of the last six World Series, so it, there's no bitterness. <laughs> Much like the nose on this beer, it's not, it doesn't smell bitter at all. It is. It's fucking fruit juice in a glass. It smells amazing. And it's a good thing you can't see underneath this table. So, Eddie, cheers, sir. Thank you. Well, fuck. <laughs> it says eight. It says eight percent. Well then, um, what's the best way to describe this? I don't know. I don't know what the best way to describe it is. Uh, super, super long finish, which is amazing. It's 
it's a blender of fruit juice. Um, but it's got this amazing pithy grapefruit juice thing that's right on the middle of my tongue right now. And I love that. It's, I think that's from the Citra. It is straight up peach, mango, grapefruit, passion fruit, whatever kind of fruit you want to think of, juice. But it's like a milkshake. The mouthfeel is fucking crazy on this beer. And the kind of pithy, herbaceous, dank, earthy thing that's on the middle of my tongue is fucking, it, it, it finishes dry, which might be the Nelson playing with those hops, but this is Citroen Galaxy. This is juice. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> this is, seriously, this is stupid. I can't believe that's 8%. It drinks like six and a half. But it's got that, it does. Monkish does the West Coast juice bomb balance thing. The grapefruit pithiness, dank, earthy, resinous, bitterness that sits on your tongue with this makes all of those juicy characteristics that much better. It just amplifies them. It, that peach juice, the mango juice, the orange juice, all of that juiciness that mixes in with that, it's fuck off. There, this beer is, it's uh, 100. It is, this is, I mean, I, I didn't look this beer up on Untapped. I have no idea what the clowns are putting on. I've noticed with Untapped, people are, I, I can't even, Untapped is dumb because I checked into a, a Trillium beer a couple days ago that was like one of the best 4% beers I've ever had in my entire life. It's like a 3.75, like what the fuck are you guys doing? I don't, it, whatever. It's like Nathan said, nobody's wrong. So you guys aren't wrong. You're just, I don't know what you're thinking. Um, this was everything that I hoped it would be. This is the best monkish beer. I, this should be, it's double dry hop though. I say this should be the beer that, it, just brew this and can it, fuck everything else. Don't even worry about the special release stuff. Who cares? Just brew this. It's like you have these huge breweries that are, they just put out one thing. It just, just brew this. This is, fuck. This beer is so good. And it's, what is it, three weeks old? So everyone who said, drink it fresh, drink it fresh, drink it fresh. If you have a can of this right now, open it. And just spray it on your face. Get nasty with it. The mouthfeel is, it's creamy. Best mouthfeel of a monkish beer. Most explosively juicy uh, monkish beer I've had. Best nose, best everything. This is the best monkish beer I've had. So it is Hunnett. It's fucking awesome. I'm really upset. Not upset. I'm sad that I don't have more of this. I would literally take everything in my fridge. It's in, I have hundreds of beers in my fridge. I'd throw them all in the dumpster and replace it with all this. And I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to drink stouts. I don't need to drink anything. I would just drink this. So, um, this might, this might be the best hoppy beer of the year. And I've had some good ones, but it, there's nothing we can do. We, no, there, uh, 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 don't need to, there doesn't need to be a hype train anymore. We're done. Foggy or window, realer than real deal. Holy field. If you haven't listened, to I got five on it because I'm pretty sure that's where foggy window comes from. Foggy window. I'm in the lands of the whatever. With my what does he say? I don't remember. It's a, the loonies are awesome. Shout out to the loonies. If you guys have never listened to loonies, you need to school yourself on some '90s hip '90s hip hop. Hundred. That's it. I'm out of here. Eddie, I don't know what to do to you, pal. I owe you like disgusting favors probably I, i'm not sure but we're out of here um I, please brew this again that's all i gotta say and uh thanks so much for watching i'm gonna go have a moment with myself <laughs> this beer's stupid i'm out of here love you guys cheers ever since i was younger i was into video games somebody like the fuse who i can bring bad news to all these crews who can't nba jam with the shoes